Okay, so as you guys might be aware, there's some fucking idiots out there who rented a bunch of billboard space and are broadcasting to the whole world, and I've been doing so for a while, that the end of the world or the rapture is going to happen on May 21st, 2011. So I started to inspect this because I'm not somebody to just rely on the logic of a bunch of morons. Uh, and so I could see what logic that they were using, if any, and uh, see their story from their perspective and analyze it and tear it apart because I know it's nonsense. <clears throat> and so let's, let's take a look at some of the logic that these people are relying on to, to make this claim. First of all, they say that in exactly 1103 BC, God created the world and man, Adam and Eve. Never mind the rest of the universe because of course we don't even need to worry about that because you know that's just scientific you know atheist propaganda you know that the universe is like millions and billions of years old oh yeah no it's just this world is everything and Adam and Eve was the beginning of all creation and that was exactly you know in 11,013 BC I don't even know where the fuck they got this logic from this is just a complete assumption on their part that the world was created in 11,013 BC. Forget about dinosaur skeletons, forget about carbon dating, forget about science, forget about everything. Throw it all out the window because fundamentalists are right about everything <laughs> because for some reason they have this access to knowledge that science just doesn't get or whatever the fuck these people are thinking. So their first assumption it's just ridiculous that the creation happened in 11,000 BC. Nonsense. Complete nonsense. You know, the Vedas go back billions and billions of years and they tell about the real creation of the universe. And even modern science goes back billions and billions of years. You know, the Vedas and modern science, they, they line up pretty accurately when it comes to the beginning of Earth and the beginning of the universe. And it happened billions of years ago, okay? Not not 10,000 years, not 11,000, 12,000 years, whatever it was, it's nonsense. So then they have picked out the year 4,990 BC of the day of Noah's flood based on their first assumption that the world was created in 11,000 BC. So in order to buy their crap about the world ending on May 21st, you have to buy the crap that the world was created in 11,000 BC. So all of you people who are buying this are fucking idiots. Morons. Just nonsense. I can't believe you're believing this crap. Okay, so then 4,990 BC was the flood. Okay, so now they know exact the exact year of the flood. I'm not denying that the flood happened. You know, that's that's uh, detailed in a lot of different stories across the world. You find you find stories about this flood that happened. I'm not denying that. Did it happen in 4,990 BC? Who knows? Do they know? Hell no, they don't. They don't know that that happened. They don't. And now they're basing all of their flawed logic on even more flawed logic. So, the first assumption that they made that the world was created in 11,013 BC is the basis of this whole theory. And they don't even say here on this page how that they came to this conclusion. There's no logic behind this. This is complete nonsense. Cockamamie, quackadoodle crap, okay? And then the next flawed assumption that they make is that one day in the Genesis story is the same as a thousand years. And this is based on Peter uh, 2 Peter 3 6 to 8 in the King James Version, which says, But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years. And a thousand years as one day. Okay, so they're saying as a thousand years. They're not saying it is a thousand years. They're saying it's like a thousand years. And that also, according to Vedic uh, philosophy, one day in the higher heavenly spheres is much longer than here. One day of Brahma is millions of years in, in, in comparison to our time. You can look that up. So I'm not denying that the, the Bible is seeing some truth in this, but to, to, to interpret it so literally, like these fundamentalists love to do, is completely wacko, complete nonsense. Then in Genesis 7-4 they say, For yet seven days, 
and I will cause it to rain upon the earth forty days and forty nights, and every living substance that I have made will it will I destroy from the face of the earth. So they go on to say that God was speaking to all the people of the world and declaring that the sinful mankind would have 7,000 years to find refuge in the salvation provided by Jesus Christ. Based on the previous assumption that they made that one day with the Lord is as a thousand years. So this is complete cockadoodle shit. You know, this is, this is complete nonsense. You know, what the Genesis story was talking about, presumably, is that uh, they were, you know, there was this inundation that happened. And this story is also told in the Bhavishya Purana. It talks about how Lord Indra made these clouds that came down and inundated the world with rain. And they even mention Noah in the Bhavishya Purana. Go ahead and type it in, Bhavishya Purana, in Google, look it up. The Noah, the story of Noah and the flood is in there. They're, they're completely making a nonsensical assertion from Peter, which is the New Testament, interpreting the Old Testament, a Jewish script. So there, these texts are thousands and thousands of years apart, and they're making complete nonsense assertions and assumptions based on their whims about what they think the scripture is talking about symbolically because these people are so you know you know intelligent and able to understand symbolism in the bible and they they know they get it they know what's going on so th this cockamamie logic has everybody fooled i can't believe it you know i'm gonna i'm gonna love on may 22nd going around and 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 uh you know on youtube or something and and making fun of all these idiots so people do the research yourself, look up what these people are actually believing and see how absurd it is. The world's not going to end. The rapture is not going to come on May 21st. You know, a lot of people question whether there is such a thing as the rapture. And especially all you, all you little Christians that think you're so, you know, saved and stuff. It's just bullshit. Let's take a look at some pictures of these fucking morons and make fun of them. Herp derp. Oh yes, bandana guy is gonna save you. Oh yes, I'm reading my Bible now because it's Judgment Day. Yeah, I'm saved. Yeah, this guy totally right on, man. Yeah, this chick. Yeah, she looks so fucking intelligent, doesn't she? What an asshole. Need I say more? The picture speaks for itself. Douchebag and douchebag number two. Douchebagier. Oh, that's real fucking sleek. Real fucking, real nice. Oh yeah, this chick. She's gonna fucking save everybody with a little pamphlet. She looks like a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poor people. Yeah, this douchebag with his fucking coffee. Yeah, you're, you're totally saved, buddy. God, they just... So stupid. Oh, and now they got businessman on Wall Street trying to save people. Oh my god, the judgment. Oh my god, judgment day in the subway. Take it from this guy. Ridiculous. They're setting up stands and shit. Oh, have you heard the awesome news? What a douchebag with his fucking shirt on his head. Oh my god, I'm not listening to a word that guy says. Oh, arms akimbo. Ugh, oh my god, hat lady. Yeah, nice one guy, mustache guy. Santa Claus gonna save your ass. This guy, he's calling all his friends on his cell phone, telling them all to fucking get saved. Handing out cards on the street. Oh my god, everybody, I sold everything, quit my job. This douchebag. Well, did you know the rapture's coming? I'm just standing here trying to look cool for God. You people, you make God look stupid. You make your religion look stupid. You make the Bible look stupid. You, you, you give people a reason to hate on religion. You know, it's like you don't study this. You don't study the Bible. You don't pay attention to prophecy. You don't pay attention to scripture. Except when some idiot makes a bunch of signs and it becomes fashionable it becomes a fad you know this this shit i just can't stand it's just like who cares about all this false prophecy and people 
making shit up as they go along. You haven't been a good person your whole life. You've been angry and 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 fucking upset at every little little thing that people say to you. You've been pride. You've been egoic. You've been lusting after money. You've been lusting after material crap. You've been spending your whole life in the rat race. You haven't worshipped God in any sense of the word. You haven't spent your life in prayer seeking to do good for others. You haven't taken up your cross and followed Jesus and given all your money to the poor and done everything that Jesus said that you should do. And now what? You think you're saved just because your minister tells you that Oh, well, if you believe in Jesus, all your sins are forgiven, da 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 Jesus never said anything like that. That was St. Paul of Tarsus that started that whole nonsense. Let me quote from your own scripture to prove you idiots wrong. But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. As it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in the days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Up to the day Noah entered the ark, and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Two men will be in the field, one will be taken, and the other left. Two women will be grinding in the, with the hand mill, one will be taken, and the other left. Therefore keep watch, because you do not know on what day your Lord will come. Let me repeat this. You do not know on what day your Lord will come. But understand this. If the owner of the house had known at what time the, at, of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. So you must be ready, because the Son of Man will come in an hour when you do not expect him. This is Matthew 24, 36 to 44. So, all of you people, your false prophets, your heretics, your charlatans, your von Drukes, your rogues, rakes, liars, douchebags, in other words, is what you are. You're making shit up and you're making an ass out of yourself, you're making an ass out of your religion, you're making an ass out of religious people. So, you should really repent, ask for forgiveness from God for following the path of these idiots. Ask God to enlighten your intelligence so that you won't be such a moron.